Stuart Bingham, world <coughs> snooker champion. How are you feeling? Unreal. Um, at, at 15 all day, I, I thought I, my chance was gone. Um, my arm felt like someone else's, and uh, the nerves sort of got to me. But um, we had a, a marathon, 31st frame, and I sort of uh, pinched it on the colours. And uh, from then on, I sort of played pretty solid, and it's just unreal. Uh, it's just, yeah, I can't believe it, 2015 world champion. Did you think this day would ever come? No, so you 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 dream of it, one uh, when you sort of as a kid playing, uh, practicing, and, and you start out. But uh, yeah, it, 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 it's it's reality now. Um, unreal, absolutely unreal. And the way you have done it, you've been you're the world champion because you are the best player in the world. You've beaten three title favourites in a row, in Ronnie O'Sullivan, Judd Trump, and Sean Murphy, and played some stunning stuff. Don't forget Graham Dot. He's a former champion here. Um, yeah, just uh, I sort of got through my first round against Robbie Williams with a bit of a cold, and then say went from strength to strength. Um, great win over Graham Dot, uh, and then a great, great win over Ronnie. And and I was worried, it's obviously playing Judd because uh, after a big win against Ronnie, I remember doing it my first year here. I beat Hendry, and then I lost to Jimmy. Um, I just I needed to capitalise on on my chance really and say so I could easily not be sitting here um, Judd had a kick in the balls in a decider um, and say so like what Sean said there in, at the end he said uh, sometimes your, tro your name's on the trophy Can you try and talk us through what you were feeling as you were dishing up in the final frame? Um, I just literally was going one ball at a time um, I was wait. I, I actually didn't realise I won won the frame. I, the, obviously, the cloud crap, uh, crap, crap. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then and then I sort of looked at the score and realised I thought I needed like another red or another colour. Um, but uh, uh, just the just the emotions, everything. So like so many people to thank. Uh, just uh, just an unbelievable feeling. And. Uh, you're probably one of the most popular winners here I can remember. The noise every time you went into that arena was unreal. Yeah, yeah, was, uh, great following. Um, against obviously Ronnie, I, I say most of my matches I was the underdog and uh, against Ronnie obviously I, I might have had 5% of the crowd, same against with Judd. And uh, when I come out obviously for the final and I might have had 80% of the crowd and I just thought oh, wow and, and I, obviously my, my little boy it all sort of went quiet and he went good luck dad and that, like everyone's like oh and then I, uh, nearly nearly started me off um, but yeah just the uh, it's just unbelievable to be sitting here knowing I'm, I'm world champion Sean Murphy's just told me that this is going to change your life now um, yeah um, sort of bring it on um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the same person. I'll be playing in all the tournaments, um, and I'll be hopefully a good role model, being world champion. Um, say playing the events, and say any, any kids out there growing up, sort of wanting to play, you just stick at it. That's all I've done. Uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of practice, a lot of self belief, and uh, and something like this can happen. And by the sounds of it, you're Martina Navratilova's favourite snooker player. Oh uh, yeah, I've heard that when I when I got back to the dressing room last night, it's sort of, uh, I'd, um, I can't think of the name, a table tennis England player uh, tweeted as well. Uh, sorry, I can't believe, I can't remember her name, but uh, sort of, I, I've sort of, I ain't looked at Twitter, I ain't looked at, uh, at Facebook, I've sort of, uh, I, I wanted to sort of stay focused and uh, so I had so many Good luck, Messi. Is well done after Judd, and I sort of try to not look at him and not reply. But uh, I think I'll be replying for the next about two weeks of all the good luck and well done messages. But um, yeah, it's just unreal. And final one from me, Sean said you chatted in the hotel lift that you were perhaps producing one of the greatest ever finals. Yeah, yeah, we um, we were saying that I think the first 17 frames, I think there was 17 breaks over 50, and then. This morning session, I think we done every frame again, like every, uh, over over 50. So uh, the table played a little bit generous, but uh, the table run lovely. Um, it was like a scorer's dream, really. 
and uh, people know that I do, I do, I do love scoring and I do love putting balls. Many, many congratulations. Thank you. I uh, just want to say thanks to Steve Feeney, Sight Right Techniques, uh, Zing Up. I've, I've been doing that for the last three months and uh, that helps, that's helped me focus and concentrate and uh, looking forward to new, new things. Stuff. Stuart's uh, 20 years of pro and almost 39 years of age.